Archery is a sport that you can practice throughout your life. Young or old, male or female, big or little, everyone can learn how to shoot an arrow right into the center of the bullseye. Whoever wishes to do so can measure his or her skills against others in competitions. And for those who are truly excellent, there are international competitions as well. The long bow is the old, originally English bow, which during the Middle Ages was used primarily as a military weapon. The moment when the air turned black with descending arrows was the worst nightmare of every army. The longbow is the most primitive of bows. It's composed of little more than a single long branch and a string. In terms of its form, the bear bow is based on the earlier Turkish bows. There's an extra curve in the limbs, which results in more energy being released when shooting the arrow. The technology of the bear bow constitutes the basis of all modern bows. A recurve bow is actually a bear bow with some extra added features. The sight ensures that you can aim more accurately, and the stabilizers ensure that the bow can be held more steadily as well as limiting the vibrations. The recurve bow is the official Olympic bow. The compound bow has the most technological gadgets. With this bow, archers can use a pulley system that absorbs a part of the force. There is also an optical sight on the bow, a magnifying lens that allows you to aim more precisely. Archers can also use a release. With this accessory, archers don't have to let go of the bow's string with their fingers, enabling the arrow to depart from the bow more cleanly, thus reducing the margin of error. Archery can be practiced both individually and in a team. During the winter period, most archers practice their sport indoors. During the indoor season, shooting is mainly done at a distance of 18 meters. The object is a target on which a blazon hangs with three colored discs. By each time aiming at a different disc, good archers avoid shooting their own arrows to pieces. There are both European and world championships in the indoor discipline. As it grows warmer in the spring, Archers naturally move outdoors en masse in order to practice their various disciplines. Some stick to a distance of 25 meters. Others try their luck at longer distances, such as 70 meters and even 90 meters. Within the FITA discipline, shooting is done at four different distances up to 90 meters. At the European and World Championships, arrows are shot at a distance of 70 meters. In the Olympic Games, the official distance is also 70 meters, and there the shooting is done with a recurve bow. In this discipline, the archers first shoot a qualification round. How well they do in that round determines who gets to shoot against one another in the following round. The matches are shot according to a set point system. This means that an archer must earn six set points as quickly as possible in order to be able to qualify for the next round. Each archer may shoot three arrows. The archer with the highest score receives two set points. The loser, zero. In the event of a tie score, the archers each get one point. 
In the compound discipline, the archers shoot at 50 meters. Their target is smaller compared to the recurve discipline. Compound archers have to qualify for the direct elimination competition consisting of 15 arrow matches. The archer with the highest score goes through to the next round. In the event of a tie, both archers shoot a single arrow. The archer with the arrow closest to the center wins. In contrast to the feeder, the field discipline doesn't work with fixed distances. The competition terrain also differs greatly. Whereas in the outdoor feeder, shooting is done on a level, even terrain without any obstacles, the field terrain is a succession of elevations and depressions. Shooting is also generally done in wooded terrain. The archers themselves have to estimate the distances on the basis of the environmental factors. Those who are good in the field discipline can go on to the European and World Championships or even to the World Games, the equivalent of the Olympic Games. The 3D discipline is closest to the original purpose of archery, hunting. The shooting is done at life-size three-dimensional foam rubber animals, with the objective being to hit the animal in a vital spot. If you do so successfully, you receive the maximum number of points. Those who would like to try their hand at this can participate in any of the literally dozens of competitions that are held in Belgium each year. Most archers who practice this discipline do so on a more recreational basis, although there are also European and World Championships. Along with these disciplines, you also have clout shooting, run archery and ski archery, but these are only rarely practiced in Belgium. In clout shooting, archers must strive to get their arrow to fall within a circle marked out in a field 160 meters away. For women and children, the distance is 110 meters. Ski archery is a combination of cross-country skiing and archery. Run archery is a combination of cross-country running and archery. High-level archery is a genuine top sport. If you wish to become really good at it, you have to train rigorously, as is true of every sport. This is in part because archery is an extremely technical sport. And to master the movements involved, you will need to shoot a lot of arrows. The younger you begin, the greater the chance of having a good technique at a later age. But along with the technical aspect, the equipment of the archer also has to be well adjusted because it's difficult to score good points without a proper adjustment of the bow. The mental aspect is also enormously important in this sport. During competitions, the key is to remain as focused as possible and keep your adrenaline under control. This can be achieved through breathing techniques. Of course, tactical insight can sometimes prove useful at crucial moments, the difference between winning and losing. In order to achieve your best performances during the competitions, you also have to be well-trained in terms of physical condition and strength. Good nutrition will also help ensure that you step up to the shooting line fit and full of energy. As you can see, archery is far more than just shooting an arrow at a target. Belgium has recently achieved some excellent results in the women's compound competition, among others. Gladys Willems became the indoor world champion, field world vice champion, and in 2007, the Belgian women's team with Gladys Willems, Petra Harmhouts, and Catalin de Soie became team world champion. The women's compound team of 2011 also won a gold medal at the European Outdoor Championship. In addition, in the women's recurve category, we have Sabrina Streif, who shot an Olympic quota place for the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing. And in 2010, she won a gold medal at a World Cup in Croatia. Belgium finds itself at the highest level in the youth categories as well. Yvonne Denis became junior indoor world champion in 2009. And in the meantime, many young archers have brought various medals of honor home to Belgium from both European and world championships. 
If you'd like to try this sport yourself sometime, you can do so in one of the 150 clubs that are flourishing in Belgium. And if you want more information, surf to the websites of the Flemish and Walloon Federations. <laughs>